Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name's Jolie and today is February 3rd. It's February 3rd already. And I'm grateful that you're here with me. And we're gonna read in our series, in our new series book is Each Day a New Beginning. It's a daily reflection and it's recovery based. So it's um so that we can learn how to uh, work on our perceptions about everything, to like work on opening our minds a little bit and um, growing, maturing is the goal. Yes, one day at a time. So let's see what we got. Um, so here we go. Um, I come and read every day best I can. And um, there are over 365 days of readings on this channel. So you could just plug, go into the main page and plug in a date and then it'll come up. Some book will come up. So there's courage to change, hope for today so far. And um, courage to change, did I say that? Yes. Uh, Course of Miracles and One Day at a Time in al -Anon, along with the first three steps in the step program. We just started step four, but it's little by little, we're gonna get more on this channel. So grateful that you're here. So it starts off with a quote. And um, it's by Catherine Mansfield. And she says, when we begin to take our failures non-seriously, it means we are ceasing to be afraid of them. It is of immense importance to learn to laugh at ourselves. Perfectionism, it goes on. And um, there's a, just a thought after that. It says perfectionism and its control over our lives stands seriously in the way of our growth and well-being, emotionally, spiritually, and even physically. Life's lessons come through failures, probably more than successes. Through our failures, we learn humility. We learn to look to others for help and guidance, and we learn how to let Others fail too. We fail because we are human. When we no longer fear failure, we are free to attempt greater feats. We dare to learn more. And life is fuller for it, not just our own lives, but the lives that we touch. Laughter over our mistakes eases the risk of trying again, and laughter keeps us young, and the lighthearted find more pleasure in each day. So, I will fail at something I try today. I can laugh about it, and my laughter will open the way to another try. I think laughter for me is is um, showing me that I am brave and courageous in life, and um, it's a show for me in my life of strength that I'm that I'm okay not being okay. Like uh, had a couple things happen in the last couple days. Like <laughs> yeah, it's um. It was a good, it was a good reminder. I'm here itching my eyes. Um, it was a good reminder, like, oh my gosh, I, I can get overwhelmed easily. I think in the last couple months, I've been, I've been realizing more and more how much, oh, how much overwhelm feeling I've been getting. And, and with that, I, I can just say, okay, I need to keep it a little more simple and appreciate that not feeling like I'm a failure because I can't like be the, you know, the Olympic hero that I always thought I was, you know, running into the wall and, and not feeling it and just keep going and then blaming other people for my failures. No, I'm, I'm in my awareness working towards that self-knowledge through a higher powers um, love. And it's it's just the ride is 
is bumpy, but it's, it's fun. It's like I get to laugh. And by me being able to do that, I feel that I'm a good example for the, my loved ones and my friends because uh, more and more we're doing that together. Like my, my kids, I mean, we're laughing more at, at things that, that we may have been like, oh, I'm so, I'm so, you know, like, like maybe um, I had judged in the past of others because I didn't accept that in myself. And I really appreciate seeing it differently because it does, you know, it does um, add joy and youth to my life as I, as each day we get older. So it's, it's um, the quality of life is what I'm after is having a good quality of life. So perfectionism and its control over our lives stands seriously in the way of our growth and well-being emotionally, spiritually, and physically. So I don't have to be perfect and, you know, um, I can enjoy a good meal now instead of worrying about it. You know, I'm you know, like it's, um, I pulled the strength card. I, I read tarot cards and just every day I've just been pulling a card and today is strength. And it's kind of a, like, you can see like where there's an abuse of that strength that can be, you know, like a problem. So there's strength in myself when I can, laugh at the problems and then move on and just try again and be okay with it like enjoying the life on the life's way you know like instead of this it's like the worry like you can see him grimacing and then like ah this guy it's pretty crazy looking card so this is from the deck of the um, visconti deck it was one of the very first decks um if you're interested in the history of tarot, it's kind of interesting, but it's it's just another way to divinate um, is to like uh, be inspired by symbols. Um, as I'm an artist, I'm I I'm, I'm in that creative thinking where it's like that magical thinking, but I can see things through symbols like that and like okay, what does that refer to me? Just like a reading any of these readings that we're reading in, in any of the, the daily reflections, how does that come for you? How are you? Where are you at? What comes out for you and stands out? So I'd love to hear that in the comments because it's really, it helps. It helps just to share and then to consider. I read every comment and I like to see where you're at, you know, and um yeah, I mean, I am powerless over so many things outside of me, and I accept that. Though it doesn't stop me from, you know, doing my part, my work, and, you know, yeah, it's important to be diligent and show up for yourself first and foremost, like I do the readings. I read here first and foremost for myself so that I can show up and absorb that material for me and see what comes up for me. And then I'm just sharing it here with you. And so I hope that it's um, helping somewhere in your life. You know, you can listen to this anytime. Um, and when you're making coffee in the morning or tea and um, or when you're driving to work or to pick up your kids from school or any of those things um, in the park. It's six more weeks of winter. That's what they said on um, ground, Groundhog Day was yesterday, right? The second, so today's the third. And um, yeah, I was drinking uh, some tea this morning and um, you see me in my robe several times now. <laughs> hair disheveled no makeup yeah but you know it's just it's okay 
I, I'm not perfect. I'm human. And I just want to show up and read. This is what it is. It is what it is. And um, one day I'll get some, some paintings going. I'm going to start a new, um, yeah, just going to start a new day. I can start my day at any time and by praying to my higher power. And I'm going to share that with you as well. So let's go ahead and just settle in. And um, I'm grateful that you guys are here with me. I am available for readings on tarot and astrology. So my email's in the description. So um, please uh, reach out to me uh, and um, we'll just have a chat about how that can work. I can give you a personal video or we can meet up on Zoom, okay? All right, so nice deep breath in and out. Third step prayer, and then serenity prayer. God, we offer ourselves to thee to build with us and to do with us as thou wilt. Relieve us of the bondage of self so that we may better do thy will. Take away our difficulties so that victory over them may bear witness to those who help with love and power and way of life. May we do thy will always. And grant us the serenity to accept the things that we can't change, to have the courage to change the things we can, and wisdom to know the difference. So God's will, not ours be done, right? So keep coming back. It works if you work it, because you're worth it. And I love you. You are loved. The universe has your back. And that's it for today. And um, God willing, I'll see you tomorrow. Reading uh, each day, new beginning again. And um, But you can find all the readings on this channel. So I'll see you. Bye. See you later. See ya.